Well, I actually thought this panel had a particularly good energy to it, in that I think it was somewhat illuminating for some people to engage in that discussion, to hear what, what in, in the end turned out to be somewhat different perspectives, probably largely embodied in the differences between where I was coming from and where Ray Kurzweil was coming from. But to hear that more in a reflective, good faith attempt to ferret out what is the meaning of these technologies and what's probable and possible, as opposed to the more vitriolic discussions that happen when you put people who are true adversaries in the sense that they are either full-scale transhumanists or, or outright rejectors of um, yeah. So in the evening we had the screening of this uh, movie To Be, which is actually one of the very first movies yeah. who is uh, yeah, I was grabbing this topic and really showing one of these transhumans uh, how it goes through life uh, What do you think about the movie and, and how do you feel about it? Well, I actually thought the movie was quite wonderful. I, I really enjoyed the movie a lot. I think it will. I think it has the possibility to be a cult classic. You know, the kind of thing that um, that tech savvy young people will kind of um, love the characters and. But it's not really techy, is it? No, it isn't so techy. But it, it's got that mystery about well, what is the future being illustrated here? and where is this going and what uh, there's an ambiguity in the movie and I think that keeps you I think that that keeps you involved um, I think for some people they will be surprised at how human the the primary artificial entity in in that picture is and it will help stimulate debate over whether that kind of artificial intelligence is really probable or likely in the near future so um, I, I thought it was I thought it was a contribution to, to the dialogue contribution to the, to the debate 